Hello and welcome to the first video on my channel, which is very surprising, but the first video of my channel is actually a guinea pig unboxing, which is what I basically got on Chewy from two days ago, I actually ordered it, which is crazy, but before we get into that, um, I'm just going to take some time to introduce myself and my guinea pigs to the channel. Obviously, I'm not going to go into the room with the pigs for this video because it is way too hot in this house right now so i'm in the air conditioning room so whatever um but anyways my name's kai i own 12 guinea pigs five girls seven boys they're all bonded like basically there's pairs and there's a trio uh, whatever you know yeah the girls are all bonded there are five of them they're all they were all born together so what else but yeah so those are my guinea pigs we have <laughs> well the girls starting we have puffy artemis pandora Chocola and Vanilla, which are all the girls, and they have, live in the same part of the cage. They're not separate or anything. They have perfectly no problems at all, so yeah. So we have the girls, and then for our boys, I'm going to separate these by. We have a quad and a trio. The trio is Monty, Ted, and Jed, and our quad is Brownie, Oreo, Pluto, and Apollo. Uh, two of them are younger for the quad, and two of them are older. So it works out pretty good. So yeah, that's the introduction to the piggies. I'll honestly post a video of me... Um, giving introduction to each of them, backstories and all, whenever I get a chance. But um, today's just a video on me showing you the haul of the guinea pig things I got from Chewy this week. So, yeah, we can get started with that now. So, <laughs> the first thing I ordered was this. I'm not sure if it's actually good for guinea pigs. It says it is. It says, a case and room of English summers in a bag. A mix of herbs, fruits, vegetables, edible flowers, and carefully blended to delight pets of all shapes and sizes suitable for small animals. It's um, pea flakes, raspberry leaves, mallow herb, chamomile, rose blossoms, rose gold, corn flower, chamomile blossoms, uh, mm, strawberries, sunflower petals, and mallow blossoms, and they're all dried ingredients. Uh, it looks like it's pretty healthy for guinea pig. I do see pea flakes in here, which my guinea pigs love pea flakes. So, I really like this. I looked it up and it said it wasn't necessarily bad or good for them. It could just be a treat, whatever. But yeah, so I got this for them. It's the Summer Herb Mix by Rosewood Naturals. It's really, I love the packaging on it. It's so cute. Like, look at the little guinea pig and the, um, I don't know what that is. So there's a rabbit as well. Maybe a hamster, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I like the packaging and it was really, it was like $5 for this big of a bag. It's not that big, but, you know, this is more like a treat. So this is what I would do my guinea pigs, you know, if they did good after nail clipping or whatever. And just like, like eh pinch full and they're both their pellets yeah so i would do for that and then on to the treats well i have uh like five bags of treats okay so i got the treats with bell peppers by oxbow it has like all kinds of stuff it's veterinarians it has like if you eat twice a day two percent of their diet um just depends on whatever you want it has um timothy grass oat flour, barley flour, cane molasses, dried bell peppers, guar gum, and rosemary extract, which is really good for guinea pigs. Somebody said this is, they love these treats for the guinea pigs, so I ended up picking these up on my, in my car, and I actually got a deal because Oxbow had like a sale or something, so I ended up getting this, and I hope my guinea pigs like this one because they usually get the apple and carrot and dough ones, but hopefully they're not going to be picky because I know they love bell peppers just normally, so we'll see if they like them in a treat dried form. Never know. Um, next we have the carrot and dough treats, which is my boy's favorite, absolute favorite treats of all time. So, yeah, it, it's, they love these ones. It has Timothy grass, basically the same thing, but carrot and dough. And, yeah, same thing as all the other base treats have. But, um, yeah, so they really like these because it's carrot and dough, and they love carrots, and they love dough. So, you know, it's just better at the treat, I think. <laughs> but they love that treat. And then I ended up picking up some Simple Rewards Baked Treats with Peppermint. I'm not sure if my guinea pigs will like these. If not, I can just give it to my rat. But, um, yeah. Um, like, yeah. Mm, hamsters, gerbils, you know. I have, a, I have a gerbil, but he's a rat, basically. But, yeah, it just has that. But, um, peppermint, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure my guinea pigs will like this. Because I do give them mint sometimes, so... We'll see if they like these or not. I know the treats absolutely smell delicious when I put them in their little box. They're really good. So I like this because peppermint is like my favorite flavor and scent in the whole entire world. Like it's so good. So let's see if the guinea pigs like it. And then I ended up getting um, Simple Rewards veggie treats, which um, seem to be like 
Oh, this has a lot of stuff in it. So it has um, a barley flour, dehydrated alfalfa meal, which is, you know, for growing guinea pigs, rolled oats, cane molasses, canola oil, dried carrots, dried potatoes. I'm not sure if they can have potatoes, but I think if it's like a certain kind of potato, they can have it. Dried green peppers, dried red peppers, dried celery, dried red cabbage. They can have red cabbage in small amounts. Dried celery, flaxseed, kelp, sunflower oil, and sunflower seed. I don't know if they can have that. Um, dried yeast, yucca, sun shrink, uh, extract, mary, mary, rosemary extract, and uh, preservative. But this said, they said it was really good for guinea pigs, and everybody in the comments and the reviews said my guinea pigs absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, so, like, um, I'm pretty sure that they will enjoy this. I'm just gonna may double check to make sure it's okay for them, but, because it has potatoes in it, and guinea pigs are notoriously not known for eating potatoes, but we can see maybe it's some kind of potato that they can't eat, so, yeah. I just want to figure out how to try these, and if they don't like it, oh well, I just won't order it next time. <laughs> so, I think the last bag of treats I got was the apple and banana baked treats, which have apples, bananas, and all kinds of good stuff in it. These ones smell delicious, like I could eat them. I've eaten one of them before. Not my proudest moment, but I have eaten guinea pictures before. So, oh well. This one's really good for whenever I eat it, so I'm sure the guinea pigs will love it. <laughs> and then, um, I got these Critter Pops. I, it was, came with, it came with one of these. I'm not sure. That was a thing you get it like a dollar off. See, I don't I'm not sure if I would really want to feed this to my guinea pigs, but I will have to look it up, make sure it's okay. Encourages healthy activity, which is maybe chasing it around the cage with them, whatever. Safe food grade coloring, which is okay. Promotes healthy chewing behavior. I heard these are pretty good for keeping their teeth worn down, so you don't have to take them to the vet as often to get their teeth shaved down if they have teeth problems. But yeah, it says it's, you know, this is for guinea pigs, rabbits, chinchillas, pet rats, hamsters, mice, and gerbils. So, yeah, we will look into this some more. So, yeah, I will look into this and let you guys know if my guinea pigs enjoyed it and or if it's safe for guinea pigs so I can recommend it to you or not. So, yeah. And then the last big thing that we got for the guinea pigs this time was the biggest box in my whole life I've ever seen of hay. Okay. So, we got the Western Timothy hay. I've never tried Western Timothy hay ever. I've only given them orchard grass, alfalfa. Um, I think I had a botanical blend um, in orchard and regular Timothy. I never give them Western Timothy. I'm not sure if it's any different. But yeah, um, I'll have to look at it. Okay, it says, you know, it's going for small pets. You know, they, you know, they all eat it. Um, it's for dental health as well because you know hay keeps their teeth down and filed but I have to open the bag to see the health chart because it has like between crunchy and soft and all that um reaching it a something to open this with <sighs> Let's see if this will work it did I'm a genius <laughs> so I have paper just sitting next to me so I was painting last night but um Timothy Western Timothy hay Okay, it is opened already, so that's going to be a little bit hard for me to... Eh. Okay, so... This just says it's, in, it's, like, it's crunchier than normal hay, which is pretty good for their teeth, as you know. Um, I'll look up the chart on my phone, actually, so I can read off, like, the exact, like, things, because it does show you online. I'm sorry, my phone is, like, literally so not working at all. Western Timothy Hay Oxbow. Oxbow is an amazing brand. I love Oxbow. I've always had Oxbow things before. I did not sell. I did not sell. I did not use Oxbow for the first two years of my guinea pigs. I actually used what is it called? It's like this brand. It's plain pellets. It's from Walmart. It wasn't the best for my guinea pigs, but that's what we had because they didn't sell Oxbow or I could not see it there. So yeah, I'm gonna take a drink while I get this up for you. But yeah, so let's see. Oxbow.com, please. Oxbow.com, right here. Okay. Oh. 
Um. So it doesn't have the chart, but I know for a fact they have the chart on there. Okay, feeding directions on national tips. Um, yeah, so it doesn't really sell online, but it is crunchier hay. I've, I looked on the website, but I don't have my, you know, cart anymore, so it's on my cart. But it's really crunchy, smells really sweet, which is good because the guinea pigs will come towards it and want to eat more, which with my guinea pigs, the thing I encourage the most to do is eat hay because hay is the most important thing in your guinea pigs diet, especially my girls. They love hay. Our boys, they, they eat it like all the time. They just prefer the KT hay, which is not what I would recommend feeding. Well, you can, but personally, I just don't like their customer service. I have called a couple times because I found like wet pieces of hay. I don't know if it came from the manufacturer or if it was wet in the store, but I've called them and they were like, no, that's not what our, our quality policy is. And they wouldn't give me a refund. The whole thing was wet and I was so dissatisfied with it, but um, it's whatever. But now I feed them oxbow, and I also get, like, bills of hay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bro, that's disgusting. Ew. <laughs> oh, my God. That was disgusting. Now my nose rings out of place. Hold on. I'm so sorry, guys. I can't edit either, so it's going to stay in here. <laughs> All right. We're good. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I use I, do, I don't buy from KT or any other brand. Um, the only brand, as you can say, I'd buy from is Oxbow. But um, other than that, don't get any other hay. If there, our we have a local farmer. He grows hay and stuff and has it. He also has small animals, rabbits, guinea pigs, whatever he has. I know he has rabbits, so he tends to feed them his hay that he gets. So I asked him, hey, you know, I have a couple guinea pigs, maybe like a dozen, but you don't know about that. Um, I have a couple guinea pigs. Uh, I want to know if you'd like get me some thir second or third cutting hay. And he said, yeah, sure. Uh, I have orchard grass and Timothy and I think botanical hay as well mixed in there. So he grew that for his uh, rabbits and pup, and maybe guinea pigs. I'm not sure, but he said they love it. So I tried it and my guinea pigs love it. That only gets really fed as a once a week thing and mix it in with their hay so it doesn't hurt their tummy. But I know where I live with another feeding thing is I cannot feed them like fresh grass because people we don't pay we don't do our own grass at my house um sorry our neighbor does it up the road and he's put pesticides on it to keep it from growing like the weeds so I wouldn't want to feed my guinea pig something it's going to hurt them so I'd really have to go to like a garden and get the grass because it's not pesticide it doesn't have pesticide on it but um yeah so that's basically my guinea pigs diet they get fresh veggies once to twice a day depending on if I feed it in increments because sometimes I feed them their carrots their peppers uh, corn on the cob they get that like basically every day the, the the husk part not the corn the corn gets fed like twice a week once a week depending on if they had it already um, and they get their pellets twice today if needed um, water unlimited unlimited hay as well but they get that mix of the farmer's hay every week and they get mixed in with their regular hay, which is just flat Timothy from Oxbow. So yeah, that's basically my guinea pigs feeding routine. They get their treats every day, every other day. Actually, sometimes it's three times a day because they're so cute. Like, I don't see how you just can't, you know, go and give them a treat every single time. But yeah, so yeah, it's whatever. Um, but I really recommend getting anything from Oxbow. Awesome food. Know what they're doing. So yes uh so that was basically the first video on the channel so i hope you guys enjoy leave a comment like and if you wanted to subscribe hit the bell as well bye <laughs>